Hi students, I am Chirayu but again your economics and marketing teacher and in the last video we have tried to understand law of supply. We have seen the assumptions of law of supply as well as the exceptions of law of supply. In this video we are going to see the movement in the supply curve. Remember uh, same as the demand curve, the supply curve can move to its right or to its left depending upon the other factors. Let's try to evaluate when does that happen. So here are two scenarios. This is our original supply curve S. In this scenario it has moved to its right and this is the second scenario where our original supply curve has moved to its left. When does these two things happen? Let's try to evaluate that. Yeah? Improved technology. Remember in the last video I have shared the assumption with you if you want to work out the law of supply there has to be some assumptions in place if you want to keep the law of supply working then I had told you that the technology has to remain constant now what happens if technology has been upgraded see there is no change in the price yeah price is 15 it is stable at the price of 15 the quantity that we used to supply was 30 units but since there is upgradation in the technology, yeah, I'm repeating the words, since there is upgradation in the technology, at the same price of 15, we are now producing 40 units and we are now able to supply 40 units instead of 30. Yeah, the price has not changed. Watch my words, the price is unchanged. Why? there was an increase in the quantity supplied because there was an upgradation in the technology yeah second cost of production goes down this is a favorable scenario as well for us that will move the supply curve to its right as well cost of production has declined there are four factors of production entrepreneurship uh, land labor and capital if the cost of production somehow decreases then we will be able to produce more units and that will uh, move our supply curve to its right yeah we will be able to produce more units now at the same given price then there is uh, government role play government can increase its subsidy that it is given it is giving to the industries or government can reduce the taxes these both scenarios are a favorable scenario for industries in the both circumstances in this both circumstances we will be able to increase our production at the same given price yeah even though the price uh, has not increased even then our production will increase and our supply will increase because it is a favorable situation remember government increasing the subsidy or government decreasing the taxes is a favorable situation for the industries in that scenario they will be able to produce more at a given time at the given price Optimistic market expectations, another favorable condition. If there is optimism in the market that uh, everything is working very nicely and there are very high chances that prices will be skyrocketing in the nearer future, then producers, yeah, then producers will be inclined to produce more uh, units at the given price, even though there is no increase in the in the price at the moment but they are expecting a increase in the nearer future so it is giving them an incentive to increase the production so these are the favorable scenarios that will move our original supply curve remember this is our original supply curve which is marked as s in the diagram these favorable situations will move the supply curve to its right yeah then there is another scenario that can move the supply curve to its right uh, to its left beg your pardon when does that happen if you have understood these factors very nicely it is very uh, easy for you to understand this scenario what happens if there is increased production cost if somehow the cost of production increases what happens it's an unfavorable situation for our organization or come your industry in that scenario the production will drop down even though there is no drop down in the price the price is stable remember there is no uh, change in the price but since this is uh, something uh, that we don't want this is what is happening in the industry then it will move the uh, curve to its left then there is increased government regulation 
what happens if tomorrow government imposes more taxes then it is not a good sign for the industry then we will be producing lesser units at the same price earlier we used to produce 30 units at 15 uh, given price but now we are going to produce lesser uh, quantity lesser units we are now going to produce only 25 because uh, government has increased the taxes or they have decreased the subsidy they both are unfavorable situation for our uh, industry and company then the third one is pessimistic market expectation here we have seen optimism here is pessimism if you think that prices are going to fall down in the nearer future that means you have pessimism about the uh, about the market then you will be you will be forced to buy more you will be forced to sell more units you will be forced to supply more units to the market even at uh, lower prices because you fear that prices may further fall down so that will move the original supply curve to its left as well yeah here is the change in supply curve two scenarios supply curve can move to its right or supply curve can move to its left thanks for watching my video i am chirayu but you can follow me on facebook instagram twitter and linkedin thanks for watching my videos again thank you